high dividend stocks in Bursa, Malaysia for 2024. Two high dividend stocks a week invites passive income insight, sends active income away. These stable dividend stocks are currently giving 5% or above just for dividend returns. Heineken, Malaysia per heart at the current price. Dividend yield for the past four quarters close to 6%. Heineken, Malaysia per heart categorized in Bursa, Malaysia consumer products and services sector is the company behind your Tiger, Genius, Heineken, Anchor, Kilkenny and Angler Shandy. For the past one year, its stock price has been in the 24 to 29 ringgit range. However, it may change for the worse in the future. So if you want to stay up to date, do follow and subscribe if you prefer weekly email updates. There's a link in the description below or in bio. Now, how likely is this dividend payout can be sustained or even go higher in the future for that we look at the percentage net margin by dividing net profit with revenue in this case is 412.8 divided by 2855 million and that is around 14.5 percent that is a pretty pretty good margin also we want to analyze the net profit growth looks like it has grown 68 percent compared to the year before from 245 million to 412 million but usually it's around 10 to 20 percent yearly growth is the norm disclaimer this is not investment advice and does not constitute a recommendation to buy the dividend stocks cover as i do not know your financial needs circumstances risk appetite or investment objectives then next we want to look at these stocks dividend risk to you whether it has too much debt that can make it vulnerable to sudden negative changes in business and economic conditions for this we look at net debt borrowings minus fixed deposit and cash balances ideally zero or negative for heineken malaysia it has short-term borrowings of 170 million against cash and bank balances of 50 2 million. Lee Han Industry Berhad at the current price, dividend yield for the past four quarters is at 7.5 plus percent. Lee Han Industry categorized in Brusa, Malaysia, consumer products and services sector is an integrated furniture manufacturer. From timber processing to manufacturing and packaging of finished goods for domestic and export markets. For the past one year, its stocks price has went up from 8 80 ish cents to close to one ringgit. So, how likely is this high dividend payout can be sustained or even higher going forward? For that, we look at the percentage net margin for the past four quarters by dividing 2022 net profit with the revenue. In this case, it's 76.2 million divided by 730.8 million, and that is around 10 plus. 4%. Next, we want to look at its net profit growth. Looks like it has grown 90 ish percent compared to the year before 40.4 million to 76.2 million. But, 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 bear in mind, its usual yearly net profit is around the same level before the pandemic. As usual, the next thing to do is to look at this stock's dividend risk to you, checking for possible red flags. For this, we look at the company's leverage and shows to the extent in which its operations are funded by lenders versus shareholders. The financial term for this is gearing ratio. High gearing generally implies a company might be vulnerable to sudden negative changes in business and economic conditions. Now you have your gearing, which is your total debt minus whatever cash in hand divided by shareholder funds. For Lee Han, its gearing has always been low below 10 percent so it's a very healthy level for a capital intensive furniture manufacturer of course this may improve or worsen in the future so if you want to be aware of future changes do follow and subscribe if you prefer weekly email update there's a link in the description below or in bio questions asked below here's your next high dividend stocks clip to watch also check out more of these global investment strategies videos updated monthly only for CFLU Channel Insider members.